Most people can't say they have famous last words because the truth is you never know when your time is up. But what if you could share some of your words of wisdom after you're gone? Fox 31 Denver's Hema Muller tells us about an app you can use even when you're six feet under. Your Facebook news feed shows you messages from your friends, what they're doing, what they're thinking right now. So imagine what you would think if you started seeing messages from the dead. Yes, there's an app for that. When everyone has said their goodbyes and the sun has set on the final moments of your time on Earth, what's left? Many people share their lives on Facebook, but what if you wanted to keep sharing from beyond the grave? Last words. We all hope we'll get a chance to say so. Just when you thought there really was an app for everything, now there's If I Die. If I Die is a unique Facebook app that allows you to leave a message that will only be published after you die. Once you download the app, you set at least three trustees. All of them have to confirm your passing and your messages will be released. It can be a bid farewell, a favorite joke, a long kept secret. Status updates, pictures, and videos. You can release them all at once or one at a time after your death. So, will any of Facebook's more than 800 million users actually post from beyond? I would actually personally use it. Then I would, you know, I could pass away and know that everybody found out the truth about everything I thought towards them. Michael Gregg recently lost a cousin. Just being able to still be able to click on his name and go to his page, even though he's not there, but it's kind of like he's still there. So, I think that's pretty cool. But some think the dead really should rest in peace. No, no way. Death is very serious. It shouldn't be a status or on the internet of any sort. What will you leave behind with this app more than just the inscription on your tombstone? Gone, but not forgotten. Right now, the If I Die app has about 7,000 people who have downloaded it so far. But unfortunately, or fortunately, really, no one has gotten to test it out to see exactly how it works. Live in Denver, Hema Muller, Fox 31 Denver. Yes, there is an app for that. <laughs> All right, Hema, thanks. Speaking of apps, the city of Denver is a new way to make your iPhone or iPad work even harder for you. The city's free 311 phone service is now available in the iTunes App Store. The service answers questions about city services like voting or how to report graffiti. Also, while using the app, your device's GPS system can help find city services that are nearest to you. Now, pinpoint weather with Chuck.